right, here we are for part two of the Magellan Garmin Endomondo GPS shootout. So we're going to take a nice easy run, about a half hour, um, at a very, very easy pace because uh, this is Thursday and we've got another marathon coming up on Sunday. So this is just a nice little taper run. Um, we're going to run the... Uh, Garmin Forerunner 610 against the Magellan Switch Up and the iPhone running Endomundo. We'll let you know how that goes just a little bit. Well, we finished our little half hour nice easy run and we're now fully tapered for the Modesto Marathon. But uh, before we go, let me show you the results of the, M the GPS shootout. Now, for the benchmark GPS, we get this in here, 2.37 miles. That is the Forerunner, Garmin Forerunner 610, 2.37 miles. Now, on to something that uh, most people have, a smartphone, an Endomondo Premium Pro. I can get this up here without any glare and see what happens. Oh, we're having trouble. There we go. Right there, distance 2.37 miles. So, between the Garmin 400 610 and Endomundo Pro on our iPhone, you can see that they agree completely 100%. All throughout the run, uh, they tracked very well together within one one hundredth of a mile. So, hey, there's an option for you if you've got a smartphone and uh, can't afford a GPS yet. Um, you can always use Endomondo. Now on to the Magellan Switch Up. And like I said before, um, this is running the latest commercially available firmware uh, that you get off the site, actually, when you plug it in and... Uh, Go to download to their website, uh, it will automatically remind you uh, that there's a firmware update. And I have done the latest firmware update. And uh, this has been out, what, uh, whew, about nine months or so? And uh, let me show you, remember 2.37 is the benchmark. Here's the switch up. Get it in the light here. 2.46. 2.46. Almost a tenth of a mile difference in two miles. Now uh, multiply that by a marathon, and you're going to see that it's going to be way off. It is still. I have ever had the misfortune of uh, getting my hands on, and I just don't understand it. Magellan is a GPS-centered uh, company, and they've been making uh, GPSs for cars and that, and this is just an absolute turkey. The Magellan Switch Up has tons of features, zero of which, other than the uh, stopwatch, are usable because it cannot correctly calculate distance. And if you can't correctly calculate distance, you can't correctly calculate anything. So, once again, um, Magellan, um, man, get your act together because um, this thing is horrible. Absolutely horrible. Um, it was uh, definitely a two thumbs down uh, back when it first came out and we tested it and the uh, latest firmware uh, version still two thumbs down avoid at all costs uh, benchmark 4Runner 610 and hey if you don't want to spend money for uh, a GPS and you got a smartphone and you want to carry your uh, smartphone with you Endomondo works great so we hope for better, but uh, we'll uh, keep uh, updating the firmware whenever they uh, publish a firmware update. 
and uh, we'll keep testing. But once again, in the meantime, uh, Endomondo and Garmin are the winners, and uh, Magellan, oh, a loser. I hope that uh, you're not a loser. If you're out there putting one foot in front of the other, you're a winner. And if you do that, I'll be seeing you out there on the road. Thank you.